Hello Waterstones, my favourite bookshop of them all! Um, Waterstones, um, I am here um, to talk about my book. Um, I am so proud of this book. When I say I'm proud of it, this has led to some slightly awkward uh, situations. I can't stop reading it, I can't put it down. It's one of those books you can't put down. Even though I've read it, and indeed wrote it, I can't put it down. Um, they asked me actually not, don't bring the book in for this thing, but I just, I've, I've been holding on to it ever since. Slightly awkward on the tube, um, when I've been sitting here like this, jiggling around on, on the tube, or, or indeed the train, um, which I went on recently, reading my own book like this. And people go, oh my God, is that Michael McIntyre? Reading his own book? And I'm like, yeah, hi. Yeah, really good this one. Really good read. There have been rumours that I'm self-obsessed. I hope this puts them to bed. It's really about me growing up, living my life as a loser. <laughs> I think that that's, that's what I sort of found out when I was writing it. Um, but actually, at my expense, it makes it funny. But boy, I didn't um, have it easy. I think when most people say that, they're referring to the fact that they, oh, they, you know, they had a tough upbringing or their parents were tough or there was not much money around. Um, basically, it was all of my own creating. I, uh, I had pretty much, I had a lot of opportunities and I ruined them all. Um, I, failed, uh, I failed a lot with women, there's a lot about that in it. And then having had all those opportunities, I managed to get myself into an absurd amount of debt and slowly but surely, um, get my way out of it. So it's like a, it's like a riches to rags to riches story. 